My name is Sarah Donahoe and I'm a children's dietitian at South Tees NHS Trust. Joining me later in this film is Dr Venkataraman, a consultant paediatrician with an interest in allergy. This film will explain what cow's milk protein allergy is and the common symptoms that it can cause. Foods are made up of proteins, fats and sugars. So the protein in cow's milk is called cow's milk protein. The type of proteins which cause problems in milk allergy are called casein and whey. You will often see these on food labels. Most baby formulas that you buy in the supermarket are based on cow's milk. Breast milk also contains a small amount of cow's milk from mum's diet which transfers through the breast milk. Milk also contains lactose, a milk sugar and fats. The fat content varies on the type of milk. For example, red top has less fat than blue top milk, but the protein content remains the same. Cow's milk protein allergy is when the baby's immune system mistakenly identifies the milk protein as something harmful and triggers an allergic reaction. No, there are two different types of cow's milk protein allergy and it's important to know what type of reaction that baby has had as the plan we follow is different for the different types of reaction. Dr. Venkataraman, a paediatrician specialising in allergy, will explain the different types of reaction in further detail. Hello, I'm Dr. Venkataraman and I'm a paediatrician based at South Tees Hospital's NHS Trust and I look after children with allergies. I will explain a bit more about cow's milk allergy in this film. Cow's milk allergy is the most common food allergy in under three year olds. It affects between 2 to 7.5% of babies in the first year of life. There are two types of milk allergy. We call them immediate or delayed milk allergy, depending on the timing and the type of symptoms. In the delayed type of allergy, the immune system gradually builds up this mistaken reaction as the milk protein continues to be consumed and it may result in a pattern of symptoms developing over hours, days or even weeks. It is much more likely to occur in babies who are just being bottle fed, although it can also occur in babies who are on mixed feeding or on breast milk. It is important to understand the type of allergy your baby has in order to provide the correct treatment options. The first type of allergy we are going to talk about is the delayed or the non-IgE milk allergy, which is the most common type of allergy in babies. Symptoms usually occur after two hours up to three days after the baby has consumed cow's milk. Symptoms are variable and are not life-threatening. Unfortunately, there is no lab or skin test to confirm this type of allergy. The only reliable test is to remove cow's milk completely from the diet and see if symptoms improve. If symptoms improve, we also retest by home introduction of cow's milk back into diet in a planned way. Our film, Early Home Challenge to Confirm Diagnosis of Milk Allergy, explains how to do this. Any reoccurrence of symptoms confirms milk allergy. This home challenge test is very important to confirm diagnosis and to avoid unnecessary dietary restrictions of cow's milk. The other type of milk allergy is the immediate or IgE-mediated milk allergy. Symptoms occur within minutes up to two hours after the baby has consumed milk. Reactions may be mild, but rarely reactions could be severe and life-threatening. Children with this type of allergy should be referred to a pediatrician in hospital for further tests, including blood or skin allergy testing to confirm this diagnosis. Families are also provided anti-allergy medications in case of accidental exposures and a specific treatment plan for these situations. The table shows the differences between the two types of milk allergy. To summarize, the key differences between the two types of milk allergy are in delayed reaction or the non-IgE milk allergy, symptoms occur between two hours to a few days after the consumption of milk and reactions are not life-threatening. 
There are no tests to confirm this apart from removal of milk followed by early home introduction. In the immediate type of IgE-mediated cow's milk allergy, symptoms occur within minutes of exposure and reaction can vary between mild to life-threatening reactions and babies should be referred to a pediatrician for further testing in hospital. Now, we look at the symptoms of two types of milk allergy, the delayed onset and the immediate onset allergy. What are the symptoms of the two types of milk allergy? In delayed onset, non-IG milk allergy, babies can have a variety of symptoms. The typical mild to moderate symptoms include one or more of the following. Irritability, colic, reflux, vomiting, refusing or dislike being fed, loose stools or frequent stools, constipation, especially straining to pass even soft stools, pain in tummy, a little blood or slime on stools. Babies can also develop itching of the skin, redness or an eczema-like rash, which usually presents as dry, inflamed, itchy patches on skin. A small proportion of babies may have severe symptoms, including severe eczema and difficulty in gaining weight, in which case you should be seen by a dietitian soon. Some of these symptoms like irritability, colic, reflux, vomiting or feeding difficulties are common symptoms that many well babies will experience. In most babies, allergy will not be the cause and each of these symptoms will settle in time, most needing minimum treatment if any. However, if the baby has many of the symptoms in combination and not improving, please see your GP or healthcare professional about the possibility of milk allergy. Sometimes there can be overlap of symptoms between the immediate and delayed form of allergy as well. It is however important to differentiate from immediate onset Ig mediated cow's milk allergy. Symptoms usually develop within minutes following intake. They may be mild such as reddening of the skin, development of hives, puffiness around the mouth or eyes. Rarely, much more serious symptoms can develop including breathing difficulties suggestive of severe reaction called anaphylaxis which will need emergency treatment. Please contact 999 if your child develops such symptoms. As this reaction can be serious or, or severe, home challenge with cow's milk to confirm diagnosis should not be done. The table shows some of the symptoms of immediate or Ig mediated milk allergy. Here are some of the pictures of children who have experienced Ig mediated allergy and you can see the puffiness of the face as well as red rash which has occurred immediately following consumption of milk. Hopefully, you can now identify if you think your baby has had an immediate or delayed reaction to milk. Sometimes this can be unclear and if this is the case, please discuss with your GP, pediatrician or a specialist dietitian. If parents have a history of hay fever, asthma, eczema or food allergies, this can make the immediate type of allergy more likely. All cow's milk and cow's milk containing foods must be removed from maternal diet if exclusively breastfeeding or from baby's diet. For delayed onset allergy, this should be for a period of four weeks or at least minimum of two weeks as this is the time it may take for symptoms to improve. During the trial period, the symptoms will either clearly improve suggesting presence of cow's milk allergy or there will be no significant change which excludes the diagnosis. Please seek advice from your GP or dietitian if there are ongoing concerns. Hopefully, you will now know if your baby's symptoms could be cow's milk protein allergy and which type of reaction your baby has had. To summarize, the next steps will be if you suspect immediate or Ig mediated allergy, continue with breastfeeding with appropriate maternal dietary changes or prescribed infant formula. Ask GP or dietitian to refer to pediatrician for allergy testing. Do not do the early home reintroduction to confirm diagnosis. Go on to milk free weaning film and wean milk free until assessed by a pediatrician or dietitian. 
If you suspect delayed reaction or non-IgE milk allergy, continue with breastfeeding with appropriate maternal dietary changes or prescribed infant formula. Go on to watch the early home reintroduction film to confirm diagnosis. Go on to milk-free weaning film and wean milk-free if confirmed to have milk allergy by early home reintroduction. If you still feel uncertain about the type of reaction that your baby has had, please speak to your GP. We have created a series of helpful educational films, including the following. Frequently asked questions about cow's milk protein allergy. Early home reintroduction. Is it cow's milk allergy? Breastfeeding a baby with cow's milk protein allergy. Formula feeding the baby with cow's milk protein allergy. Milk-free weaning for babies with cow's milk protein allergy and the milk bladder. This has all the relevant information regarding dietary aspects of managing milk allergy. Thank you for listening and I hope you found this useful. We have displayed a few QR codes in this talk which links you through to online information leaflet and resources relevant to this section. Open your camera or download the QR code reader on your phones and this will enable you to scan the QR code and access the information. Finally, if you can scan the QR code, on the bottom right, it will take you through to the survey regarding this talk. It will be really useful to get some feedback on how we can improve this in the future. Thank you.